Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about wide angle lenses. Now a wide angle lens is any lens with a short focal length. Wide angle lenses can produce some amazing results and they can be very varied as well. So it's worth knowing what the different focal lengths within a wide angle range can produce. When you think wide angle lens, the photographic association is to landscapes and there's good reason for that. Landscapes can often be expansive and it can take a wide angle lens to capture that essence. As well as landscapes, wide angles can be great for producing interesting results when it comes to portrait and fashion photography. They allow you to get really, really close and get a different, more unusual perspective. You do have to be careful though, as wide angle lenses can produce images that contain distortion, affecting the apparent physical relationship between objects within the image. Now, that distortion can vary hugely between different focal lengths or different ends of the market, depending on if you go for a less expensive lens or a more expensive lens. So it's definitely worth checking out which lens will be suitable for you, for your needs, and giving them a good test to make sure that they are the right one. In order to illustrate what a small change in focal length can mean to wide angle, I took out a Canon 6D and a Fuji X-T2 with a range of lenses to experiment. Here I am using a 10mm focal length on a Fuji X-T2. Because the sensor is cropped, this gives a true focal length of 15mm. This one is 14mm, so a true focal length of 21mm. And finally, 24mm, which is a true focal length of 36mm. This comparison shows clearly the difference a small change in focal length can make. Now we move to full frame with the Canon EOS 6D. This image was taken using a Samyang 14mm cine lens, which you can see produces really effective results. However, due to being so wide, there is a lot of perspective distortion, which very wide angle lenses suffer from heavily. And that is why you must be careful shooting portraits with them. Unless you want a profile picture that looks like this. The Canon EF 20mm was used for these images. And as you can see, there is nowhere near as much distortion as with the 14mm. The last comparison is using arguably the most popular focal length ever, 35mm. The lens taking the photographs here is the Sigma 35mm f1.4 art lens, which I have to say was an absolute joy to use, and I have slightly fallen in love with it. I was able to capture close-up macro shots, portraits and landscapes, and the lens just never failed. As you can see, in the world of wide angle, just a tiny change to the focal length makes a huge difference to the kind of perspective you get within your image. So it's definitely worth checking out a load of different focal lengths to find out what's right for you. If you need any help picking a wide angle lens, then please send us an email, give us a call or pop a comment below and we'll try our best to help you out. Thanks for watching.